Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to show you all how I edit my photos in Lightroom and we'll just jump right into it. So the first thing that I like to do is adjust the white balance. Um, there is an auto um, preset in here, but sometimes that doesn't always like get the, the color just right. So I like to use the eyedropper tool to set my white balance. We'll actually adjust this back to as shot so that you can see the difference. But we'll just go in here, zoom in. You want to select a color that's neutral, such as white or gray or beige, something like that. In this photo, I'm going to use my teeth to set the white balance. And you can kind of see here that originally the photo was a little bit pink. So we kind of went in and bumped up the tint a little bit, or I guess bumped down the tint so that it is a little bit more natural to like what we saw or what I saw in person. The next thing that I like to do is use the auto correct feature. I usually use this as my base and then I kind of go in and tweak it just to, uh, to fit my like aesthetic. So I really don't like my photos to be like super vibrant and colorful. So that's the first thing that I like to go in and adjust and pump down after I've like hit the autocorrect button. The next thing that I like to do is add a little bit of clarity. Um, I usually bump this up to 15 just to kind of make the photo pop a little bit. You can go in and already kind of see that there's like some huge um, differences in the photo just by like making some simple adjustments already. The next thing that I like to do is go in and bump up the contrast. And we are going to bump that up to 10. That's usually kind of what I like to stick around. Also, so you see in this little histogram, there are these little carrots. These show like clipping in the photo. This kind of shows where you've got like some dark um, parts of the photo that are too dark, where you like are losing detail. Um, this one in this corner show um, I guess parts of the photo that are like too blown out, this usually kind of happens when you have like a little bit of sky in the photo or just something that's like super white and you lose like detail. So when we hit the auto button, these like popped up and that is what I use to kind of make my adjustments in the photo. So what we'll do is we're going to bump up the blacks just to get more details in the photos that we've already lost. And you can see that that's already beginning to um, go away and change. So once we get that to negative three, you can see that that carrot goes away. Um, but I like my, like I said in the beginning, I like my photos to be a little bit moody. So I am going to go in and bump down the shadows. You see that carrot has come back up, so we're just going to bump it up a little bit to make that go away. Next thing we're going to do is adjust the whites in the photo just to get rid of the other little carrot. I do like to have, um, I guess, white whites and I guess higher like contrast, so I am going to go in and adjust the highlights just to kind of make you know my colors pop make sure that my whites look white. And you can see when we bump up the highlight that that carrot does come back. So we're just going to leave it where it is. So the next thing that we're going to do is adjust the details. Um, so what I like to do is zoom in on my face just to kind of like see, um, I guess if there's like any grainy parts or anything in the photo. Here you can see everything is like pretty smooth, but we're going to bump up the sharpening just to make sure that the photo is you know as sharp as it can be. Um, I like to bump this up all the way up to 75 is usually like the highest that I go. You can kind of see that it's a little bit grainy um, so we're gonna bump that back down to 50 just to get rid of some of that grain but still keep it sharp. Next thing that I like to do is this lens correction. To be completely honest, I have no idea what this does, but I just like to go from top to bottom and kind of like check off everything. So um, I do add this to my photos. And 
and you can kind of see that it kind of just like adjust the photo up here just a little bit but that did make that carrot and this histogram come back up so we are going to make a couple more adjustments just to make sure that this is all right so it looks like by setting this to zero that this goes away but i'm going to play around with the shadows just to see if we can tweak that a little bit more because I do like to make sure that my photos look a little bit moody. Looks like we can without losing too much detail. So it looks like if we keep that up to negative 38, that is like the perfect amount of like contrast in this photo. Lastly, I like to go into like transform just to see if we can like make sure that the photo is the right um, at the right angle. Uh, Lightroom will kind of adjust everything automatically for you. So I just check this box constrain crop and then just hit auto and this will kind of adjust everything for you. This doesn't always get everything um, just right. Sometimes it does mess up, but in this photo, I don't mind it. So we're going to leave it where it is. And then lastly, we are going to crop the photo. And the aspect ratio that I like to use is either one by one or four by five. For this one, I feel like a square is gonna be like two cropped. So we are going to use the four by five for this. I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit to my chin just to get like the perfect like crop. We are done. see that we've got that carrot thing again which means we've got some more clipping in the photo so we're just going to tweak that a little bit bump that up to negative 33 and we are all done so i'm going to show you before and after this is the before this is the after so if you look at my instagram you probably notice that like this isn't like the finished product but this is like what I typically do for all of my photos um, as a base, just to make sure that the photo is like, you know, pretty good to go on its own. But I do like to go in and add a filter just to make sure that like my Instagram flows um, completely. But as far as like editing in Lightroom, this is typically like my workflow. So if you do have any more questions about Lightroom, please feel free to like reach out to me either here on YouTube or on Instagram at Francis Lee Baker 4 That's my Instagram handle. Um, if you have any questions about like what I like to do in Visco after this, feel free to reach out to me as well. But other than that, that is it, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. And like I said, reach out if you have any questions.